welcome back to Rose's Kitchen. Today we're going to make red pepper and chilli jam. The ingredients for this you'll need two peppers, 150 grams of chillies, 200 millilitres of cider vinegar, the juice of one lemon, 500 grams of sugar, two cloves of garlic and a packet of peptin. This should make at least three jars. So first of all, I'm going to chop up and de-seed my peppers. Cut up my peppers and my chillies. Now these are mild chillies, so I'm leaving the seeds in. I have took some seeds out because I'd like to grow them next year. Dry them out, same with peppers, saves you a bit of money. These, I'll stick it on first. No, it's all. Right. I'll put in my peppers and my chilies. I'll put my peppers, my chilies, and my garlic in my food processor. So let's go and make some jam. In a saucepan. Over gentle heat, I've added the sugar, the lemon juice, salt and vinegar, and a pinch of salt. I'm going to let that cook gently until the sugar's dissolved. The sugar's dissolved. Now I'm going to add my peppers and chilies to the saucepan. And that's going to go on a really fast boil, a really bubbling boil. For about five minutes. Now this boils for five minutes. Occasionally give it a stir. And that gives me enough time to have a sip of wine. Cheers. You see how that's going to roll in boil? That is going to be absolutely lovely. That's going to be great to put on a sandwich with turkey. Wow. And the smell. Oh. Gorgeous. Right, adding the peptin. You're going to be stirring all the oil. Let that boil for at least one and a half minutes. That's been cooking one and a half minutes. I'm going to turn that off the heat now. Let that cool. There's many ways to check whether it's set. My way, get a spoon, and it to cool. Now I'm going to get my jars. You see how the jelly is set? Mm. Not. Now we've got to move, move quick. Turn the jars upside down. There's hot food. It's going to be in hot jars. Right. Here we go. Ooh. Don't worry about if you make a mess. That's what kitchen paper was invented for. Just clean the rim of the jar and put the lid on. Oh, sticky work. Put the lid on and then we will put them back in the saucepan to sterilise for 10 minutes. Took my chilli jam out of the water. Now it's sterilised in 10 minutes. Now these buttons are down. Now, if you like this one, they haven't. They should go down, they really should go down. But if not, then put it in the fridge and eat it within a couple of weeks. So if you enjoyed my video, come and join me on Facebook, Rosie's Kitchen. So until next time, enjoy my chilli jam because it's going to taste gorgeous Christmas day fantastic on somebody's we, we cold meats so enjoy so until next time bye